had a health alert to tell you about, and for the first time, officials have trapped mosquitoes carrying the virus, the Zika virus in the U.S., found within the Miami Beach Zika zone. And the CDC is now recommending aerial spraying on Miami Beach, something they have not done until now. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live on the beach with reaction to this. Joan. Well, good afternoon, Elliot. We are in the hot zone, the area where people who have been found to be carrying the Zika virus. And this is where one of the spots where one of the mosquitoes was identified to actually have the virus. Now, the county, which controls mosquito spraying, has been stepping up their efforts here on Miami Beach, and aerial spraying could be next. Mosquito control crews scouring Miami Beach looking for signs of standing water, possible breeding grounds for mosquitoes that could carry the Zika virus. The county is doubling down on annihilating the mosquito population after Thursday's announcement that for the first time, a trio of mosquitoes has been found to carry the Zika virus, an indication the virus is active. So this is not an, uh, an epidemic. Uh, we are, though, uh, taking every step possible, every uh, prudent step, to make sure that uh, it doesn't become one. The hot zone on Miami Beach runs from 8th Street North to 28th Street and from Biscayne Bay East to the ocean. One of the mosquitoes carrying the virus was found in the Miami Beach Botanical Garden. The garden has been shut this week while crews clear out vegetation that could be breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Kay and Katrina Parker visiting from Washington, D.C., have to cross it off their sightseeing list. So we're a little disappointed, but you know, life goes on. Life is full of disappointments, but you keep getting up like the phoenix and you rise to the occasion. But nonetheless, hopefully we'll be back next time and uh, we won't have the Zika virus threat or any other environmental threat. The garden is across from the Miami Beach Convention Center, also in the hot zone. They're getting ready for the big home and remodeling show this weekend. And the deans who are vendors hope Zika won't affect attendance. You can't worry about these things. You got to do what you got to do, you know? And that's the way I feel, you know. Um, I hope we have a great show. I hope that there's not an impact on that. And uh, we're like 500 vendors here. While Zika can cause flu-like symptoms for someone who's infected, the biggest threat is to pregnant women. Zika can cause severe birth defects, and pregnant women have been advised to avoid the hot zone on Miami Beach. Now, up until now, there has not been any aerial spraying, largely because of the high rises on Miami Beach. But on Thursday, Governor Rich Scott issued a directive saying there could be aerial spraying via helicopter. Now, that would be up to the county. Uh, we're told that the mayor here has been in contact with the county mayor, but no decision yet, just yet, whether to do aerial spraying. In the meantime, it bears noting and repeating that if you are in the hot zone, you're urged to wear bug spray and also long sleeves. In Miami Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.